The border security force has shot down four Pakistani drones on Punjab border and recovered narcotics. A prominent Pakistani defense analyst has said that independent open source intelligence analysis and satellite imagery have failed to confirm destruction of S-400 air defense system and BrahMos missile units on Indian territory, suggesting that any plans to strike these assets may have fallen short. He also said that Pakistani claims of successfully destroying India's S-400 are primarily aimed at domestic audiences and lacks credible evidence to substantiate them. Pakistan Air Force is planning to relocate the surviving elements of its AWACS squadron to the Quetta Air Base, and this decision follows after destruction of AWACS at Pakistan's Bolari Air Base due to Indian missile strikes. The Bangladesh Navy is in advanced negotiations with South Korea for the acquisition of six KSS-1 submarines valued at approximately $2 billion. A high-level joint inter-services security exercise was conducted in Mumbai, in response to the evolving nature of non-conventional threats and the current heightened security environment. Private sector firm Sam Televionics has developed an advanced smart-wide area display for the cockpit of the AMCA, that features high-resolution touch interfaces and holographic projections, that will enhance operational efficiency and reduce cognitive load during missions. Hyderabad-based Reden Systems has developed the B-Sun Multi-Barrel Munition Launcher System, which is a mobile platform carrying 18 loitering munitions, and offers rapid-fire capability and target engagement at a range of up to 30 km. The DRDO has invited Indian industry for collaboration in the development of high-pressure turbine blades and vanes, utilizing single crystal nickel superalloy castings. The installation of portable launcher and jet deflector systems is set to commence shortly, in preparation for the first test firing of the 150 km range M1 interceptor missile under Project Kusha, that will be followed by 250 km range M2 interceptor and 350 km M3 interceptor. Japan has formally offered its advanced XF-91 engine for co-development and local production for Indian Air Force's 5.5 generation AMCA stealth fighter. The XF-91 prototype delivered in 2018, generated over 107 kN of dry thrust, and 147 kN with afterburner. And Japan has said that the XF-91 engine has a potential maximum thrust of 196 kN, positioning it as a perfect candidate for sixth-generation platforms. After the success of Rampage air-to-surface missile, the Indian Air Force is now evaluating the Israeli Wind Demon air-to-surface cruise missile, and the icebreaker by Israel's Rafale Advanced Defense Systems. The Wind Demon has a range of over 200 km, that can be integrated on both attack helicopters and fighter jets, and features advanced laser homing seekers and electro-optical systems for day or night operations, automatic target recognition capability, real-time video transmission, and a unique fast-slow-fast speed profile. The Icebreaker is a 300 km range autonomous precision guided weapon, that features low level terrain following unsea skimming flight patterns, and can target both land and sea based targets. Larsen and Tubro has unveiled the second prototype of the Zorawa light tank at its facility in Gujarat, that will undergo initial trials in desert and semi mountainous conditions, with high altitude trials scheduled for late 2025 in Ladakh sector. Feedback from the Army led to enhancements in the second prototype, including improved suspension for better ride quality, an upgraded cooling system for the engine, and enhanced situational awareness through additional sensors, and the Army will induct 354 units by 2030, and order size is expected to reach 700 units in the future. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.